Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to do my flip through of May's Silk and Sonder Wellness Journal. Um, if you guys have been following me a while, you know I started getting these in January and I get a new one every month. They are, it is a monthly like planner type thing. Um, wellness journal, it's very much self-care oriented, which is great. And this has been a great thing for my mental health. Um, so putting that out there. But I just kind of want to flip through these things with you guys every month. Show you what they're about. I have a link down below if you want to check it out. Um, they do, right now, they have, it's a subscription service. So I was gifted an annual subscription. So I'll get these every month through 2021. Um, but I believe they also have a monthly subscription and then also a quarterly subscription. So that's super great. Uh, I just want to start by saying I love this cover. Everything else is like floral. Like their whole thing is about like floral, but this was April's and the flowers just kind of go diagonally across, which was super pretty. Um, but this, I am loving the green with the peach, purple, greens. I'm loving it. So anyway, let's flip through. Um, as always, there is the index. It has all the pages and then it shows the calendar pages. And this is a section to mark, um, the notes pages. If you have them like for specific things, like one time I had like a monthly goals, monthly to do's, business to do's, stuff like that. Um, so that's what this is. Then we have the editor's note. And I'm not going to read through all this with you. Um, the word of the month is creativity. And I just kind of, I love this. So uh, the note from the creator. And then an instruction sheet. So these, for the most part, don't change much. So we have the mind body health plan, which is included in every week. Uh, the sleep tracker, you get one for the whole month. The mood tracker and habit tracker are monthly. And then these two are specific to this, this book. So you have a creative sketch and then a this is me page. And we'll get into that later. But then we have a 2021 overview. And what I've been doing with this page each month is I'll go through, let me find mine in this one, is I'll go through and mark, I didn't actually put what they were. Um, I'll mark yellow for birthdays blue for days where there's no school, and then purple for days that I requested off. And um, it's going to be super important come this half of the year because my son starts kindergarten. And so I'll have to start actually pay, pay, paying attention to when there's no school. But then I just take a gray highlighter and gray out the months that are already passed. But then you get a monthly calendar view. So this will be May. Their monthly views start on Monday. It is a Monday start, and then all of their weeks also start on Monday. And then I, I love these floral patterns that they have. So there's that, and then we have a future log. This always includes the following four months. So we have June, July, August, and September. And then what I do with this is I will basically take April's, look at June, July, and August, because September isn't in April's, and um, transfer everything over. And then when I get June's book, I'll take this section and transfer it to that monthly page. And then just kind of go from there. Okay, so then we also always have a reflection. So you take, this one's for April reflection, and it's April wins, hiccups, favorite moments, hard moments, and then what do I want to start, start stop, and continue? And this always just makes me really sit down and actually reflect on the month because I had I have to sit down and think about what was the best part of the month, what was not so great, what did I do that I wanted to do or didn't want to do or however it may be. And then May intentions. I actually did not do my April intentions. I think I did a couple of them. But this is... Um, Setting intentions is not making a to-do list. It's asking something of yourself and then giving yourself the strength to do it. So 
Um, I usually change this one to mental health. Um, but basically, uh, from how I see it is I'm supposed to pick one main thing I want to do. Like professional goals. I need to do my resume, but that's part of a to-do list. So I don't really know what to put there. Um, then we have the mood tracker and the habit tracker. And I, God, I love these florals. I just, I'm in love with them. Um, but so on the mood tracker, there's space for six different moods. And I really appreciate this because I always have one for being productive or busy. One for being anxious uh, because I do struggle with anxiety a lot. Um, being tired and so on and so on. But it's really helpful to just sit and look and be like, okay, this day I was super anxious or this day was a good day. And then habit tracker, here you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven habits that you can track for the whole month. And then you also get four or five each week. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Then you have the sleep tracker. So it's the days and then time I fell asleep, time I woke up, number of hours that I slept, how I feel, and then how rested I feel. And these first three, time I fell asleep and woke up, and then number of hours, I take directly from my Fitbit. Because otherwise, I don't know. And then this one changes every month. This month is an idea log. So it says, idea log, what problems, pain points, or conversations do you encounter? How might you do it better? Every day, write an idea of something you wish existed to make your life better. Oh, I could fill this out in one day. <laughs> there are so many things I wish that existed that could make everything better. Um, okay, creative, creative sketch. Creativity is spontaneous. Look around you, observe, and sketch what you see. <sighs> Excuse me. I really like this idea. Um, I wish that I still drew, but... Um, who knows? We might do this. Sometimes I don't always do these pages every month. Um, creativity prompts. So reflect on a time when you felt your most creative. What are three places, people, or things that have inspired your imagination lately? What is your favorite way to express your creative side? Okay. I could probably definitely do that. And then creativity activity. I define creativity as creativity is not... Here's what it feels like when I'm feeling creative. I'm listening to when I'm feeling creative. I'm surrounded by I find the creative flow best when creativity follows. It means I enjoy creating and feeling creative makes me want to what that is interesting. I might really enjoy this month's prompt pages and then the coloring page this month is a piano which I, oh, I love that. That's going to look super pretty if I actually do it. And then we have um, a quote with some of these falling flowers. That's so pretty. And then this month's recipe is a spicy lime avocado soup. We might actually try that. I will not because I don't do spicy anything. But my mom and my son love spicy lime and avocado in everything. So, and then this is me. I think this is the second one we've had this year, sort of like this. So it's my favorite color, my favorite book. Which celebrity couple am I rooting for? Um, I don't really pay attention to things like that. Uh, my greatest talent. What was my favorite subject in school? My favorite hobby. One thing I'm afraid of, first thing I like to do when I wake up, if I could turn back time, would I? Uh, what is my favorite holiday? What is my favorite food to get delivered? And what is something that makes me feel joy? Okay, and then we have notes pages, and then there's notes pages also after every week. And they are just... Um, like a graph paper kind of grid. I don't know how well you can see that. These lines are really faint. Um, and then we have another quote. And then we have a monthly expense tracker. And what I do is I'm actually working on something for my shop. So if you do Silk and Sonder, 
Um, definitely leave me some ideas of what you need. But I just take something like this. I just made this real quick in silhouette. And it's an annual reading log. And I just keep printing the same thing out and cutting one because I don't need to change it. But this is basically the books that I want to read. Um, so I'll take this and cover up this. And then this will cover the line. And I am working on something that is meant for this for reading. And it won't say re annual reading log. It'll, But it will have like stuff for the lines. Okay. And then we get into the weekly stuff. You get one of these pages before every week. And so we have weekly to do's. Uh, this week I want to feel weekly major three goals and then one, two, three, four, five habits or activities you want to track. So it gives you a line for what the habit or activity is. And then it says your goal. Like if I want to get up early and take a walk on the treadmill um, every weekday morning, then I would say treadmill. My goal is five. And what I do is I just take one of these mild liners and color in the days that I want to do that goal. Like, so if I say treadmill every weekday, I would do Monday through Friday and then leave Saturday and Sunday blank. And then if I do it, I check it off, which might seem a little extra, but I also, um, I don't make any of these goals the same as my monthly goals. They are always different. And then on this side, we have a meal plan. And so you get breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack for the whole week. And then a mind-body health plan, which I've never filled in. And then a space, tiny space for shopping list. And then a little box for a great food, memory, or song. And then the week is set up vertically. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are split which I, I always have mixed feelings about because I need most of my room on the weekends, but I also don't look at my planners as much on the weekends. But, um, so I'll just kind of flip this. So you always get a box up here that says one thing and you can kind of use that for whatever, one thing, whatever for your day. And then a little weather tracker. Then you get the day, you get a water tracker. I break this into sections. So I have my reminder um, I was doing self-care, but then I moved the self-care thing up here and started doing that for my one thing. So I have reminder, work, and then to-dos. And I make a big chunk of this just a giant to-do list. And then it's, of course, smaller on Saturdays and Sundays. It's, um, a couple things, like a couple spots for reminder, and then the rest of it's a to-do. And then we have... A notes page and then to me this is week one I don't know they're considering it part of the mid-month but to me it wouldn't be um, so when I go through this I will probably use this week so this is um, the third through the ninth and then you have one notes page and then a mid-month check-in so it's currently loving feeling enjoying anticipating, wishing, reading, watching, and planning. And I will probably actually fill this out the weekend of the 16th because that is more of the mid-month to me. Or I don't know. I might fill it out whenever. It doesn't necessarily have to be the middle of the month. But then you get the next week, the pre-pages, the week, and your notes pages. And then after all of the weeks are over, you just get extra notes pages. So you have um, three full graph pages. And then this um, definition of Sonder. So there's that. There's not... These don't change a whole lot month to month. But I do love to flip through them with you guys because the prompt pages change it change every month depending on what the word is. So... I just kind of wanted to go over that with you guys and let me know, let me know what you think. Um, have you tried Silk and Sonder? Are you going to try it? Are you interested? Um, anything, just let me know. And I'm going to end this here and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.